Canada has a true love affair with Formula One. The grandstands here are always packed to capacity. It's a country that has given us the likes of Gilles and Jacques Villeneuve, the thrilling Grand Prix of 79, of 98, and of course, 2011. They love their motorsport in Montreal, and we absolutely love coming here. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's have a chat about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lucas Weber lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Power and Bottas, Perez, Kvyat, Verstappen and Nico Hülkenberg, Ricardo, Magnussen, Lando Norris and Sainz. Kubica, Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Devon Butler and Kimi Raikkonen, Grosjean and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Green flag. 
caution. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green.
casting. Reduce ERS deployment. till the end of the race. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. this lap of the race. Keep this up. seconds. Energy. 
reduce ERS deployment. this one. What an excellent win for Williams. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. It's a good result for Lucas Weber, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalize on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Williams continue to push their lead at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You had a few bumps and scrapes today. Who would you say is at fault? Your rivalry with your old F2 teammate is over and things didn't go your way, did they? Your old teammate had a much better race this weekend. Do you think we can expect more wins from him? How does it feel sharing a Formula One podium with your old F2 teammate? Appreciate your time. Fantastic podium, well done. 
keep pushing like this for the rest of the season. I recommend we could go for something like this. You're being compared favorably against your teammate. Well done. As long as you're in the same car, they'll always be your number one rival. So it's important to keep this up.